My name is Deirdre Dodd, otherwise known as D, and I was at Letterman for nine years. I started as an intern and left as a talent coordinator. I did a lot of cameos on the show. I loved doing them because of the money, but I hated them because it was completely nerve-wracking. One week, Jerry Vale was our green room greeter. He would snap his fingers, call my name, and I'd come running with drinks or whatever in a kind of French maid outfit. And I bent down to give Tom Brokaw a drink and the cup wasn't really coming out. So I was shaking it. One of my boobs kind of fell out of him and he was mortified. Well, I don't know who this guy is. I don't recognize yeah, that. I don't think he's a guest on the show. <laughs> oh, apparently some kind of, uh, just a small breach of security. And Okay, but that's uh, what Jerry Vale is doing. He's taking care. That's in the green room. Jerry Vale. I also had to unclog a sink for Andrea Martin. To see a woman in like a sexy outfit plunging a sink, that's brilliant to me. <laughs> Big problem right over there in the sink. Something problem with the what? Oh my gosh, look at that, Paul. Standing water in the sink. <laughs> Get that taken care of immediately. Ooh, oh well, that's all. Oh. Well, just... oh. in the commissary. I had done a audience piece where I stood up in the audience. It was nerve wracking doing those bits because Dave would sometimes try to catch you off guard in terms of what's your name? What do you do for a living? What, you know, and trip you up. And that was always in the back of my mind. But after he said Elizabeth Turner and there was a cat call in the audience, whoever that is, thank you. You saved me that day. Yes, ma'am. What can we do for you tonight? What is your name, please? Elizabeth Turner. Oh, hello, Elizabeth. Nice. Oh, thank you very much, sir. That was most flattering to Elizabeth and her family, hearing you squawk like that. Uh, yes, Elizabeth, what can we do for you tonight? Well, I have an itch back here, and I well, can't say quite no more. reach I'll get it. it. Come on down, Elizabeth. I got it. I know. You got to get right to these things, or they'll drive you nuts all night. Where is it? Right back here. Right about there. Oh, yeah. You can't yeah. be too careful when oh, it comes to an itch. Good. Is yeah. that it? Yeah. Are you sure that's Perfect. it? Because I can look elsewhere. No, it's fine. It's good. Mm. Yeah, okay, there you go. Thank, thank you very you. much, Elizabeth. Thanks. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? Dave. I got an itch, too. Security. <laughs> Come on down. Just take him out of here, boys. All right. Just get it. All right. Camera races were brilliant to me because you have $1,000 equipment and you're racing with them. I had done another bit, and they decided to use me on that show as, like, the gift giver of the camera races. And here's the problem. I'm not good in heels, and I had to wear heels. And it's also nerve-wracking to actually do these things. So I was so afraid I'd always trip. All right, they're coming down the hallway. Oh, my God! It's going to be very, very close. And it is... Oh, the Nice job, Joe. Uh, this is the... Uh, this is for Joe. Okay, this is for Barry. Thank you very much. Come on over here. I love the musical guests. There were some that Dave didn't understand. One of them being, I believe it was Sonic Youth, where Thurston trashed his guitar. And I thought I was getting fired. <laughs> You know, the one good memory that I really have is Dave really liked my father. And my dad did a lot of stunts for the show. There was one show when we had the desks on the highway. My dad was one of the drivers. I love that I got to work with him. Excuse me, Paul, do you have any, do you have any accompanying music here for Small Town News? Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Paul. How are you? Do you have anything here for us? Yeah, I got a little All right. Small town news is always empty, but even better, going 50 on Route 78. You can't be the good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I got a 
to go to the bathroom. Uh -oh. I gotta go to. I loved Jack Hanna, but God bless him, one of his baby tigers bit me. On my ass, Jack would always bring his animals. I would always go see them because I'm an animal lover. And there was a baby tiger. And I was petting him, loving him. Jack's like, he's fine, don't worry. I turned to leave and the baby tiger didn't want me to leave and grabbed a chunk of my ass. I had to go to the nurse and get a tetanus shot. And that night, I remember I went out with friends and got drunk on Jack Daniels to alleviate the pain in my ass. Oh, that looks like a tiger. It's a little tiger cub, isn't it? A little baby Bengal tiger. It's about a year old? Right, no, no, no. Yeah. How old is that? About five months. Five months, and this was born at the zoo? Uh, yeah, born at the zoo. Yeah. Is, is that unusual to have tigers born in captivity? Oh, not really. We're doing a very good job right uh -huh. now. Yeah. You want to hold the bottle? Well, I'll just touch it. I'll hold the bottle. And do you mind if I touch it? Now, at what, what age will this cat become unmanageable if it hasn't already achieved that age? Well, <laughs> it's, it's achieving the age because it just scratched Biff a little bit. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was always portrayed as the one that, like, was miserable and mean. We would do staff show and tell. I get into his office. He's like, what are you going to do today? I'm like, I don't know. You guys just called me in here. And Dave goes, she's going to look me bored and miserable. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I'm known as that person. Why can't I do something fun and nice? I was always, like, bored and miserable. Like I need to tell you, this is Deirdre Dodd. What do you do up here, Deirdre? I work in the talent department. Yeah, talent department. That's a huge department, isn't it? Yeah. And what are you going to do for us, Deirdre? Nothing, really. She's going to look bored and miserable. OK, go ahead, Deirdre, do it. Great, perfect. I did do one thing when we did a smoke break. Those were the days when I did smoke and you could smoke in your office. Oh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're halfway through tonight's program. So as a courtesy to all of our employees, we will now be taking a brief smoking break. All right, come on in, kids. Here we go. Everybody come in for the uh, smoking break. Light up and get ready. Okay, I'll go ahead and start the clock. Here we go. There we go. Like in the second row. Stands up. It's a big deal. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, Bob, how are you? Nice to see you. All right, there we go. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, there it is. That's it. Put him out. Back to work. Thank you, everybody. It was a viewer letter that said, do you ever catch Hal making out? And then they cut to Hal, and I'm making out with him. He told me what to do, and he said, move your head to the left, and I'll kind of hug you, but I'll hug you really close here. And like, he had his arms around me, I think, and I had my arms around his neck. I still have PTSD from that. It was like making out with my dad. <laughs> Dear Dave, do you ever have a problem with members of your audience making out during the show? <laughs> Uh, just curious, Andrew Houston, uh, Mill Valley, California. <laughs> no, I don't think so, uh, Andrew. Our audiences are actually uh, great, there, and they're very, very well behaved. As a matter of fact, Hal, if we have a second, turn one of the cameras around and let's show the folks at home the studio audience. And I think you'll see for yourself, Andrew, they're really, really on their best behavior. So if we can... Um... Hal? <laughs> Hal? <laughs> Good look. Hal? Sorry, Dave. Uh... Uh, what do you want? Never, never mind, Hal. Just forget it. Go ahead, Dita. <laughs> it's Gurney in there with a babe. Yeah. I guess it was Larry and Adam that had this late night magic lady where I did magic. I had a prance when I pranced off stage. I actually got letters from prisoners on this one. I'm not kidding you. That's actually how I met my husband. No, I'm kidding. The box. Look at that. See? Look, look. Nothing in that box. Go ahead. Go ahead. See? Go ahead. Do it again. Look at that. Hey. Empty box. Okay. Milk. Hand me the milk, uh, magic lady. Here, let me open the box. All right. Look. Ordinary house milk. We all have it in our homes. Yeah. Towel that out, will you? Now, now what do you think will happen? Well, 
Watch. Really? Do you want me to? I can't. No. I take stuff to my grave. I do not. Mm -mm. Not even on camera. Nope.